there's two aspects to what I do. The first is the subject that I study, which is the sense of smell. The second is the organism that I use to study it, which is this tiny maggot and, in fact, the, the fly uh, that produces the maggot. And I became interested in studying the fly, the genetics of the fly, the genetics of behavior using this fly uh, when I was an undergraduate. And I read a, a very small piece in a New Scientist magazine describing a study that had just been done in America in which they had made a fly that was stupid. They had made a mutant fly that couldn't learn. And uh, I was a young student studying psychology at the time, very interested in behavior. And I thought, right, that's what I want to study. And so for the last 40 odd years, uh, that's exactly what I've been doing. I got interested in the sense of smell as a consequence of first uh, studying pheromones, sexual signals, sexual chemical signals between flies as a way of trying to understand their mating behavior. And then we decided uh, in the late 1980s to move into uh, olfaction, the sense of smell in general. And uh, the person I was working with at the time said, you should try using uh, maggots rather than flies. And I said to him, that's stupid, I don't want to do that. Maggots are boring, they don't do anything. Uh, and in fact, what I was in fact describing was the reason for studying. They are very, very simple and very boring. And unlike flies, they don't fly, the clues in the name. They only work in, move in two dimensions. They're not interested in sex. They're only interested in feeding. And that means that their sense of smell is very important driver of their behavior. So uh, I was told to, well, yeah, I was told to do an experiment to see whether it would work uh, by the person I was working with at the time in France. And uh, I put my maggots on a little dish of jelly. I put them in the middle. I put the smell on one side. The maggots all moved towards the smell. And the difference in that very strong response compared to uh, the very difficult responses I was getting in studying sexual behavior, because... Flies are like people, they have headaches, they don't want to do it. You've set up your big experiment trying to hope that the flies are all going to mate and then they don't. Uh, there was none of that with this uh, studying maggots and their olfactory responses, their responses, their sense of smell. It's a very, very strong response. And so that instantly convinced me that this was the, what I wanted to study. And so I've continued since then.